Hey, welcome back to Dub's Garage. I've uh, been a while since I've been out here in the shop. It's been a crazy January. Uh, it's February 1st now. Um, I'm working on the fifth and final episode of the frame rail replacement, and I'm going to get that video out to you guys. And then I got two more projects I need to get started on before the car show season, you know, kicks off here in the uh, middle of March. So on the 52 Chevy pickup, we, I, I'm running a turbo 350 transmission and a three speed. And the, uh, the gearing is really high in the, in the differential. So <clears throat> I wanna get, uh, get my RPMs down on, at highway speed. So to remedy this, I'm gonna put a 700 R4 transmission in it. So I'm just not, willy-nilly changing transmissions because I want to get my gearing down. The, the transmission I have in there now is uh, it's the original transmission uh, from the donor car, which was a 76 Chevelle Malibu uh, four-door. So I pulled the engine out, transmission, I just cleaned the transmission up. I never, you know, just put a new filter in it, new pan and seals, and that was basically it. Uh, it's been a good transmission, uh, been pretty reliable, shifts fairly decent, but uh, it, it's all the gaskets and everything are starting to leak, so I need to get that fixed. So I thought the way to fix that and kind of kill two birds with one stone is I got to pull the transmission to fix it, so I might as well go back with, a, with the one I want. Um, that'll give me better RPMs on, uh, on highway speeds and you know be more reliable and won't have any leaks so and the other project I need to work on is the uh, motorcycle trailer the bobber trailer I've got uh, a single rail on it you might have seen it I've seen it in some of my pictures but uh, it's just a single rail and it's very impossible for one person to, to load the, the bobber up by themselves so I'm going to strip it down and we'll put a flat uh, platform on it and we'll have a, a wider ramp and that way I can either ride it up there on it or uh, comfortably push it up and not not uh, roll the dang thing off the side so anyway we'll get started here I'm gonna uh, show you some things I'm doing I've got the trunk the driver's side trunk floor pan is uh, prepped and ready to go in so now I got to get it in there get the uh, tail section uh, set up for the Mustang and then I can uh, start welding. I get all this welded in and uh, hopefully by next weekend uh, or so we'll uh, uh, put the 52 up on some blocks and uh, tr tr uh, get the transmission out and go from there. Okay, here is that driver's side uh, trunk floor pan. You can see where the frame rail section uh, hits right down through here, all the way down. This side is the fuel tank side. So the fuel tank would set down on this rail here. And then this is the back section here, the tail panel is. And then you can see this is that section that I cut out of the car. I, I think I called it a rear quarter panel section, but uh, it welds to the quarter panel and then it covers that up to keep the uh, water and stuff out of it and uh, keep the trunk dry. So anyway, we'll see what we can do here and get everything uh, fit in and go from there. Uh, we had 10 inches of snow uh, beginning of the week and it's still Still got a little bit around, so that's always sucking. But we needed the moisture. So I think this is where we left off uh, the last episode. Uh, the tail panel's in. And right there is where this piece is gonna go. Right down through there, all the way up to the top. And that'll complete that. And then I got the, the rear piece to put in from here to the driver's side. Then I got to get all this <laughs> vice gripped up. I've got some alignment issues here when I close the trunk, so uh, I'll have to get those uh, kind of taken care of too. Uh, make sure I got everything aligned before I uh, do my, all my final welds.
Okay, gang. Well, I got it kind of rough fitted in the, in there, all my pieces. I got another problem. This damn uh, driver's side again. Imagine that. So this piece here is the, I'm going to call it the rear trunk support. It, it goes from uh, from this quarter panel section to quarter panel section. And when I was working on the passenger side, I cut that piece so I could get, get it welded up in there for uh, to finish it out and I said well if I if I end up using the other side I'll I'll just uh, weld it in there so there should only only took about an eighth inch metal out of it and when I squeeze it together over here uh, shit I got a quarter inch gap in there so I got to close that gap up somehow so I'm scratching my head right now I'll uh, try to come up with a solution um, but anyway, you can see it's it is fitting in there pretty good. So I got some vice grips on it in different areas. Uh, it's looking good, really, other than other than that gap. So maybe I'll get a metal stretcher and I'll just stretch the damn thing and uh, get it in there. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna keep working on it. and We'll see what what I can do with it. All right. So every problem's got a solution, whether it's right or wrong. Um, what I ended up doing is cutting, uh, grinding all my plug welds back out, spot welds, whatever you want to call them. I had to undo everything, get this all loose like I did in the previous video, uh, get everything loose again. So all this is loose, the quarter panel's, uh, floppy here. So, but the good news is, hang on, don't get dizzy. I got my gap. I am where I want to be. Now I got to fit the quarter panel. Fit the quarter panel to, well, the trunk support panel to the quarter panel and get that lined up. And then I got to get my gaps lined back up here for the tail light extension again. So it's kind of like a freaking uh, two legged milk still. You'll never get it right. But uh, I'm getting closer. I'm going to get it. Uh, finish moving things around I'll come back and see where we're at after that well that wasn't real easy guys <laughs> man I about kicked my butt so anyway I had my half inch gap quarter inch half inch gap right here from this piece I got it problem was I kept moving it I moved it from here to right about here where the frame rail meets this section, the rear of the frame rail. So I ended up with a half inch gap over here. Got that closed up. I moved that gap back up over here. So it's a good thing I didn't spot weld it. But at the end of the day here, I think I'm there. Um, I've got screws in it instead of, uh, you know, plug welds or spot welds, whatever you want to call them. And my tail panel extension is fitting pretty good I, I've got a it's hanging up a little bit right here so that's I've got to get that uh, hammered down welded and beat it into submission but as far as that goes I'm liking it so it's not like I said before this isn't gonna be a concourse car so we're it's just going to look good going down the road, and by golly, I think that's going to make it look good going down the road. Uh, I'm not real happy with the way this transition area is here. I'm going to uh, try and hammer on this some more, and i got to put a pair of vice grips on here. But uh, I think I'm going to call it good right there. I'm going to put screws in everywhere before I start welding. Um, I've got... A little bit of uh, fitment issues here I got to deal with. I think uh, once I get everything screwed in, I've got one more piece that goes here. And it goes from the fuel tank hole opening and it goes down here. And then of course the gas can or gas tank fits in there. So I'll probably dry fit that too. So let me shoot some more screws in it and uh, we'll 
maybe get the gas tank and just just set it in there i want to make sure it's going to fit before i start welding everything um so anyway let's do that i'll be right back well the fuel tank fits that's all i can say about that it's square enough that it goes in there and it sets down pretty good i've got uh, screws in the corner kind of holding it up but it's looking good Let's do some more alignment and fitting and uh, see how things progress. This is the old uh, tail panel I cut out. It's the one that's got all the Bondo in it. So the reason uh, for doing everything I've done the past couple of videos. So uh, I've got this trunk latch in support. I got to get off. I've got some of the rivets already, or some of the spot welds already cut out. I keep calling them rivets for some reason or not. Um, I've got these drilled. I just need to get my spot weld cutter and cut them out. And, uh, and we'll screw it into the, uh, into the new piece and then we'll start doing the, uh, trunk alignment. Okay, we're still massaging the metal around a little bit. This is the trunk latch and rear trunk support, tail panel support. Uh, it really ties in a lot of the back end of the car here. That's where your trunk latch goes in. Problem I've been having with it is getting it all lined up. So I've got it where I want it now. Um, but getting there was a kind of a pain in the butt. And I'll kind of explain it here as I go. But uh, the tail panel needs to go in that way. So... When I'm looking down here, this wasn't fitting right. So the top two holes right there, uh, they weren't flush with the, the tail panel. <clears throat> so what I did is use my uh, piece of railroad tie or railroad track and started hammering and beating on it. And I ended up bending a pretty good crease here to get this to fit flat here so my plan is to get this welded here welded up top here and then uh, I'll put a piece of ratching strap there I'll hook it up in here and then I'll beat the bottom piece there into submission and I'll tack weld it and that should get me pretty good I've already done a test trial with that but uh, I'll uh, film some more of this rigging when I get everything about ready to go. I gotta uh, prime everything here, uh, some weld through primer, and I'll be ready. Okay, I think I'm at a, as good of a point as any to wrap this video up. Uh, I've got a ton of welding left to do, but let me show you what I got. So you notice the trunk is closed now. So I got that all uh, aligned up. I'm, I'm a little high on the um, driver's side. I think a little more fitting time I get everything welded in and change my gasket out. I'm not going to mess with it right now. I think I'm flush over here. I just got this is loose, so I got to just get that aligned. Uh, get the trunk open here, my magic key. <laughs> All right. So I've got the, the trunk latches in. And I've got it all nice and pretty back here now. Just got welding to do, a ton of it. It's Everything's where it needs to be. I've got screws holding it together, and I'm not going to bore you with uh, welding. There's plenty of YouTube channels out there with welding on it, so I'm not going to go into that. But you can see where all my plug welds are going to go. I'm going to shoot some screws in there. A few more screws just kind of hold everything in place, and then I'll come out in the evenings and, and on the weekends, and I'll just um, start welding everything up. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for this video on the frame rail replacement. It's been a long battle, but I'm glad to be 
done with that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the floor pan in at some point. I'll probably do a, a quick little video on it, but it's ready to go in. Uh, I've got the, the rear part of the floor pan in, so um, and of course the other side's in too. I just got a ton of welding to do, and I, I don't think I'm going to video any of that welding. I might, uh, you can kind of see some of my, <laughs> my markings here on where things are supposed to go, so uh, I might cut in and uh, make a video on that, um, the final fitment and everything of the floor pans. My next formal Mustang video will be the uh, cleaning up the leaf springs and overhaul in the rear differential. Uh, we'll go into that, um, maybe do some more live, uh, not live, but actual filming of the teardown of it and everything instead of stopping and starting the video and tearing into it. So anyway, hey guys, I really appreciate you watching. And uh, if you would like, please like my videos. And uh, if you're into, if you got an account, please subscribe to my uh, channel. I like to know that people enjoy the videos and uh, hope to find them helpful or at least encouraging anyway. Uh, like I said in the beginning, uh, we're going to put the transmission in the 52. That will be my next formal video. We'll jack that thing up, get it ready to go, um, and get the new transmission in it. Uh, I called the guy up in Wichita last week and got it ordered. He's got it on the build list. It's nothing fancy. It's just going to be a 700R4 stock. And we'll get this thing up on blocks, get it up high so I can get in there and get the transmission out and uh, put the new one in. I'll probably have to get the drive shaft either shortened or lengthened, one of the two. We'll figure that out when we get there. But hopefully that's just a couple of weekend job there. And uh, we'll be driving it and we'll be ready for the car shows. Some of the more long, dip, further away car shows. Uh, with that overdrive that may help me out quite a bit all right again thank you appreciate it catch you on the next video